Hello everybody, this is Leerbach, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we met this guy. In this episode, we're going to be finishing, finishing him off. Um, these guys are called Dark Nuts. They are uh, pretty much a, po a pivotal enemy in the Zelda series. They're typically considered to be one of the hardest enemies to fight. Um, I believe this is the first version you see them in a 2D game. So yeah, that's pretty big. That's pretty uh, awesome. So yeah. With that said, you kind of got to go into them kind of being able to read his moves and react accordingly. Anyway, we open the chest and we get a gold kinstone piece! Yay! Now, the gold kinstone pieces are pretty important items. They're, they're kind of key items at the moment. We'll be, we'll be using them to progress further. And with that said, with that said though, we're going to head up and get um he's past avoiding the snakes and he's going to tell us about the statue uh, that we see up above and that's one nasty looking statue and I have such an evil flower to it lower flower is that is that what he's trying to say or is that a spelling error I'm not sure anyway, he's talking about these statues um as you can see, we can't really do anything with it. We can't grab it. Um, we hit it, nothing happens. We'll actually be getting an item soon enough for it. And so, with that said, we come over here. We want to go ahead and go shrink down. And then we'll go into the log, go this way. And actually, you know, we'll go ahead and equip the gust jar. Um, basically we're just going to be moving forward. Um, I'm not going to lie, I like, the, I like what they did with the, putting the lilies in here. But at the same time, it's kind of a little more trouble than it's worth just to put in a simple directional puzzle with a, lil with a lily pad. I don't know, it just seems that way to me anyway. Anyway... Here's the real challenge though, we have all these enemies in this hole to kill. All of which take three hits to kill. And I know I said that was a real challenge and that really isn't much of a challenge, but inside but anyway, the reward we get is well worth it because inside the treasure chest is a bow! Yes, we got the bow. Okay, so now, what the bow is, well, without overcomplicating things, it's a device that can kill enemies from long distances. So it's basically like a sword, except better. Um, the main, the only issue with the bow is that it takes up ammunition, and not everything's immune to it. Not everything is weak against it. Excuse me. Not immune well. Um, I'm a little out of it, so yeah. This is my fourth or fifth recording of this. Not that I had any problems with the other recordings. Ah, I forgot to talk about these guys. Okay, I'll do that real quick. You see the statues, once you kill them, they give you fire arrows typically. But the way you kill them is you just shoot them in the eye. Shoot them in the eye to activate them, then three more shots and they die. That's it. Um, anyway, the problem with my recording is that... Oh, for whatever reason, I didn't want to record the entire video, so hopefully this will record the entire video. I'll hopefully fix that. Um, my audio might be a little, a little out of sync. I hope not. Um, I really hope not. But anyway, um, enough, enough of that, we want to continue on more. Um, over here, ooh, we got a kinstone piece. Yay, just from chopping up the grass. See, he says doing yard work isn't worth, isn't worthwhile. We got that and bows. 
Okay, so we push this tombstone open, drop down, and get a piece of heart, and we see a ghost. It looks like Swift Blade. We talk to him. I'm on Bionic I'm Swift Blade the first, the first, Spear of the Swordsman. If you me, I'll teach you a lot of stuff. Okay, come back. We can't do anything with him because we need seven Tiger Scrolls. What are, what are Tiger Scrolls, you ask? Well, if you really need to ask, you really must know. They're the things that us do our sword moves. Yeah. And if you really are asking that, seriously, why haven't you been watching the rest of this LP? <laughs> okay, so here we have this guy. Um, there we go. Actually, we're going to check this out first. Holder of the Sacred Power will grant you the power of the wind. Okay, and these little looks as if he has no clue what it is. And then we just shoot this guy in the eye. And we kill him right in front of us. Strange coincidence or totally badass? I'm going with the badass part because it makes me look cooler. Ouch. Okay, I shouldn't say that anymore because then I'll get hit by the spikes. Okay, so, we head over this way, drop down, uh, we'll go ahead and push that forward, and we go into this room, pass the snake, we get another gold kinstone piece, woo, hoo hoo, yay, woo, okay, so, with that said, we climb back up this way, I guess I shouldn't say climb, but, oh, you, you get the idea, you get what I'm trying to say. Um, let's see, okay, here we go, this is the way we need to go, and we shoot this guy in the eye, bam, 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 yay, we make ourselves look totally badass again, oh, almost failed there, almost, uh, failed there again with the, dang, Okay, so we go through here, open this up, and got a kinstone piece! Oh, golden! I just now noticed the similarity between those three statues, uh, those three chests, chests of the, uh, face symbol on them. I happen to know what that is, and I'm not going to tell you. Oh, not yet, not, not quite yet. Um, so back, actually what we're going to, uh, ah, I went the wrong way. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to climb up this area, and we're going to go into the whirlwind, and basically head down. Um, yeah, like we did before. Um... Actually, at this point, I'm not, enti I'm not too entirely sure what's going on, because I'm like, uh, this is the third time, I'm, the fourth, fifth time I've done this, so yeah. Anyway. We head this way, and we see these statues. Um, this is your average ordinary statue. When we go up to them, they have thought bubbles, which means we can give them this kinstone pieces. Okay, so we lock these gold pieces together, they fit perfectly, they'll maybe live a happy, healthy life. And let's see what they'll do. Oh, they smile and they pound the ground, breaking a rock somehow. Oh, this one too. Oh, we'll give them the kinstone piece. Maybe something good will happen. Or maybe the same thing that happened before. They'll smile and they'll pound the ground and break a rock. And here we have the last one. Give him the kinstone piece, do the piece fits together perfectly, what'll happen? He smiles, pounds the ground, and the rocks vanish. Yay! Okay, so here are the wind ruins. Um really not much to say here. There is a kin there is a not kinstone, a uh, wall to break here, which we'll do that real quick. Open that up, we're gonna get some peace. Woo! 
We go down this way, and we see a statue with a glowing eye. Hit it once, it activates. Um, basically, you just gotta keep hitting it. It's not that hard to defeat. Um, now, this one, as you can see, we do nothing when we hit it. Well, we're about to find out what, what exactly we need to do. Get on this hall as a Minish. Talk to this guy. The soldier statues were built by the Minish ages ago to help humans. It's kind of secret, but there's a switch inside that turns the motor off. Okay, so, with that said, we open the treasure chest to get a kinstone piece. Are you kidding me? No, he doesn't have a kinstone piece to use. Okay. Dang it. Did not mean to go down that hole. Okay. That said, we go up here, hit the switch, and then turn the flame on. He's awake! He lives! <laughs> Okay, I can't do that. Okay, so we hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, and he's dead! It's all my fault! I'm going crazy because I'm... Okay. <laughs> Enough of that. Okay, so, as you may have guessed, we just kind of got to... Okay, now, here's... Here's an interesting little thing. You see the statue over here we can't do anything with. We kill those guys and it mysteriously vanishes. Because those guys are somehow magically linked to the statue. And as you can see we saw a leak or leech or whatever they're whatever you want to call them. Honestly I have no clue what to call those guys. Okay, so as you can see we have another statue. Well, before we head over there, we're going to head back this way. Because as you can see, there's some paths we can take. We sneak down this way. I believe this is the one we want to go on to first. Yeah. And, yeah, as you can see, we got a new kind of little gimmick there. Pass over the crumble, crumbly rock. Yeah, so we kill those guys. This is probably going to take us a little bit to get to. Oops. Really? Wow. Well, let's hope this piece of heart is worth it. We got a piece of heart. Collect two more. Yeah, pieces of hearts are always worth that troll, because... <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not sure if it was really worth that, but it's always worth the troll to get a piece of heart. Because, well, they're a valuable item in this game. Okay, stop falling in the hole, Link. We, this is not a suicide mission. This is not Pitfall. This is not insert old and dated game here. Okay, so with that, we're going to ah, head back up here. And we're basically going to be heading down this way. Uh, I probably should have taken care of the enemies first. Yeah, well. And we're going to have to head all the way back. Um, looks like we're running out of time, so I'll activate the statue. And with that said, I think I'm going to end it off here for now. Um, so, in the next episode, we'll be continuing on through the what? the wind ruins. Until then, I'll see you guys later.